everyone and welcome to this video which is an introduction to ratios. Throughout this lesson we will be able to define ratios while learning how to solve real life word problems. Now you're probably thinking what in the world is a ratio? Well a ratio tells us how much of one thing there is compared to another thing. If you take a look down at the bottom I see an example of two red calculators to three yellow calculators. If you look at how the wording is used over here, you can see for every two red calculators, we have three yellow calculators. That's the way we write our ratio sentences. Now, our types of ratios can be written in three different ways. So number one, we could write part to part. This is what we just explored in the previous slide. Two red calculators to three yellow calculators. This compares the number of one part to the number of the other part. Then we have part to whole. So this compares a selected number of parts to the total number of all parts within the whole. So if I have two to five, that means that there are two red calculators and there are five in the whole, or five altogether. And number three is just the opposite of number two. This is the whole to part. So sometimes you will have to compare the whole number or the total number to just a part, which would be those two red calculators. Now you're probably wondering what in the world do those numbers mean down below? Well, those are some ways to write ratios. The same ratio can be written in three different ways. So first you can use word form, two, two, three. That word two tells me that this is a ratio. You could write it with a semicolon, like in number two. This also is read two to three. And last but not least, you can write it like a fraction. This means two to three. Solving ratios. When you are solving, there are three simple steps. Number one, you need to identify how many of each item is shown. And we did that on the first slide. We identified that there were three yellow calculators and two red. Then you need to write your ratio in one of the three ways we just explained. And finally, we would simplify if possible. Let's take a look at what I mean. So what is the ratio of blue crayons to the ratio of red crayons? Well, let's take a look. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve blue crayons, and one, two, three, four red crayons. So I know that I have twelve to four. Okay? Now, the order matters. I want everyone to say, order matters. You need to be sure that when you're writing your ratios that you give them what they are asking for first. So this says blue crayons to red crayons. I need to make sure that I count the blue before the red. For example, if I were to say that the ratio would be four to 12, would that be correct or incorrect? That would be incorrect because that means that I'm comparing red to blue. You have to go in the order that they ask. Take a look at how I solve this. So you're going to write the ratio of blue crayons, which was 12, to red crayons. Now I chose to write my ratio like this with the semicolons, but you're more than welcome to write it in any other way that you choose. So I have 12 to four. Now I want you to notice when you're simplifying, I notice that 12 and four have something in common. I could pull a two out of both of those numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide each number by two. And as I do that, I'm gonna hop over, and that becomes six to two, because 12 divided by two is six, and four divided by two is two. Now in looking at six to two, I still feel like there's more that I could do here. So I'm going to divide it by two again. Six divided by two gives me three. Two divided by two gives me one. So now I can think to myself, I have simplified this as much as I possibly can. It is in lowest possible terms. So that is the value of my ratio. 
Ratios can be applied in real life and that's why ratios are so important to learn about. Think about if you were mixing paint. In order to make lavender colored paint, you must mix one part violet to three parts white. And that's the ratio of one to three. You also might use this when you're cooking. I cook all the time and all the time I have to put my measurements into ratios. My mom's famous cookie recipe has a two to one ratio of flour to sugar. So that means that they have more flour or sugar. That means that they have more flour because there are two parts flour to one part sugar. And last but not least, you might use this when you are drawing. So for every one inch on the drawing, there's 10 feet in real life. This can be applied to when we're talking about maps, and you can notice that every time there's an inch, there's 10 feet in real life. So that would be a one to 10 ratio. Can you think of another example of how you might use ratios in your life? Drop it down in the comments below and we will explore. Thanks so much for checking out another video by Modeled For You.